Okay, so we're starting the vlog up by looking at some Burberry bags. This bag reminds me of this Tory Burch bag, Carbon Copy, which isn't great because this bag actually felt kind of cheap to me and I'm sure at the Burberry price point, it is not cheap. And then I was able to try on the TB flat bag. I didn't really like the feel of the leather and you guys know that I'm not a fan of the TB logo. Probably the only saving grace thing for this bag would be the color. Also, I did not know that there was a cost store or cos store if you guys didn't know jenny has a white giant pouch bag from them and i didn't know that there was a store here and they actually didn't have the white one the white one is unavailable on the website as well but they had two small versions of these ones so i had to try it on of course it was really light and really comfortable honestly the more that i was trying this bag on i really liked it i felt like this was a great grab and go bag in an i don't care bag i feel like if you're interested in the jody bag style slash design this would be a good kind of testing the waters if you kind of like that bag obviously this isn't leather but i would say this is an alternative i really like it if they had the giant white one i would have bought it just because i have always see jenny use that at the airport and i would love to use this bag as like a gym bag and the price point isn't bad Alrighty guys, we're at Fendi. I saw this bag online. This is the Nano Baguette bag and I was obsessed with this color, the cream and the edamame green color and the fact that it says Fendi all throughout. I thought this bag was so, so special and I actually really like that it had the silver hardware as well. The only thing that kept me from actually buying this bag was honestly the fact that I couldn't put it over my shoulder. That was actually a really big issue for me. And then here's how much it costs. The normal nano baguette bags are usually around 800 to 900 and this one obviously has the silk handle and stuff so price-wise I get it. Then I saw these peekaboos. I think this is the ICU where it's more structured on the sides and I love this color. It's like a muted green gray color and you can see that it has the leather flowers on on top what is your guys's favorite size of the peekaboo i eventually do want to add a peekaboo later on but i adore adore this color it's such a great neutral so I saw this bag online. Obviously, this is the new edamame green color, which I'm obsessed with, and I don't like this. I just feel like this is too robotic, but I could see it being like futuristic-esque. It's just personally not my style. And then ironically, the Fendi first I didn't like before, but it is high key grown on me and I actually really like it. So here is the top stitch blue peekaboo. I love this so much. I believe this is the mini size, which I think is the perfect size. If I were to get a peekaboo, I'm pretty sure I would get this size. It really didn't help that I wore this blue shirt today because it made the peekaboo look even better against my skin tone. Like it totally matched my outfit, even though the peekaboo is pretty quote unquote fancy. It actually looks really good with my casual outfit. Look at the grain leather and the top stitch. Apparently this leather is called the cellier leather is the highest quality leather that fendi makes and then she added this strap this jacquard strap it does not come with the bag you do have to pay for it separately i believe the strap is around like 800 to 900 dollars but it looks so good so so good with this bag and then this is the ICU peekaboo. It has the dual tones on the inside of the bag. If you can see briefly, it's pink and taupe on the inside. And you can see on the sides, it has like the accordion style. So it's a little bit more structured. Here's a close up of the inside. You can see the soft pink and the taupe. And then the manager at this boutique actually told me that the meaning behind the two tones is to signify that everyone has two sides to themselves. One side that they keep to themselves and one side that they show to the world. And that just really hook, line, and scene me i really like this bag a lot and then the main reason why i popped into fendi was because i wanted to see the new multicolor mantra bag in person unfortunately she told me that they were sold out so i tried
tried on this beautiful green gray color i need to find out what this color is called and it just looks so freaking adorable i'm so utterly obsessed and it's actually not as heavy as i thought it was i do like this way way more than the leather version of it look at that canvas embroidery work of the ff it's so pretty and then she showed me how a lot of people like to dress up their montresor she did this kind of knotted it's very similar to a lot of people when they decorate their hermes picotine bags but i know the hermes picotine twillies they like to do a tighter braid so i asked her if i could record her doing this so i can remember for future but here you guys go so basically she ties little knots and then at the very end she's gonna tie the bow and then it looks so so cute so you just do like a loose knot and a loose knot and then you see the ribbon oh it's so cute The only thing that they had available in the new multicolor canvas with the FF was this nano baguette bag and I actually really really like this. I like that it's different from the one that I have. The fact that the FF hardware in the front is actually a lot bigger. Oh it's just it's different enough that I can justify wanting to add it. And look at the color scheme. It's so nice. And then the updated version of this is actually now the strap is adjustable and it has the little Fendi on it can you guys see it on the little bead right there so you can adjust the strap it looks so cute i really really want to buy this there's a very high possibility that when i come back from europe i'm gonna purchase this i'm obsessed i really couldn't put down either of the peekaboos they're both so different that i honestly think in the future i could justify having both of them which one do you guys prefer honestly the strap really completed this top stitch one one. You know how the Dior saddlebags, a lot of people put the jacquard straps, but it sometimes looks out of place. I feel like this Fendi jacquard strap really belongs to this bag. It's so cute. I can't get enough of it. And in this size, I can't. The essay was even telling me that this blue color is the most popular out of the collection. Here is a nano version of the ICU in the edamame color. And then here is another nano baguette bag, except this one has the puffy embroidered work. And this one has little leather straps for comfortability. So you can shoulder bag it or crossbody it, which I thought was so fun. I love that they have so many different variations of the nano baguette. So you can find a mini one for anyone. And then she showed me their new phone case baguette bag. If you guys have seen Cassie Thorpe's video, I think she got gifted this satin phone case in the red color. But my favorite thing about this is that the inside lining is the vintage OG Fendi logo. The essay was telling me that they're lining the bags with the vintage logo. So this is the logo before Karl Lagerfeld made the FF print. And I just thought this made it so, so special. Also with the nano bag get bag in the multicolor the one that i just tried on that one also has the vintage logo on the inside and that really just sealed the deal for me 1965 after this this is like a, even like a like a, the first original oh, wow. logo right and then like a things like a car design that logo is become like a so popular and then oh, right wow. now it's a more icon yeah for, yeah the ff print right. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like no this is like vintage yeah. oh i love that that's so cute. I actually like this size more than their regular mini baguette size just because I like that the strap is all satin as opposed to part chain. But I know some people like the mini size because of the chain. But realistically speaking, I can't see myself actually buying a satin bag just because I stain everything and I wouldn't trust myself with this bag it's just too delicate but i just absolutely adore the dimensions and that the strap is all satin too and then here is the edamame color in the mini peekaboo size i love the mini size i find it so funny that this bag is called mini because to me this is not that small i feel like this is super wearable super doable and this color guys the brightness of this pastel it's like a seafoam green a true seafoam green and here is the nano version of it with the mini so you can kind of see the size comparison between the two here are some mod shots of both of them. I know some people are like me where you want to kind of still have a taste of a collection. So if you really like the edamame color but you don't want to pay full price for the whole peekaboo, you can just get the nano version of it. So she was putting this bag on top of the other bag. So it's a nano on top of a mini. I think the 
mini size isn't big enough to really proportion this out but if anyone was just a Fendi fanatic here it is on top of each other it does look a little out of place for me but you can kind of see the ratio between both of the sizes oh it's so cute I can't and here's just an overview of everything that I was able to try on. The sales associate at Fendi and the manager were so, so nice and welcoming, super helpful, super fun to talk to. Are any of you guys picking up anything with the edamame color? Leave me a comment down below if you guys are. But I actually love this phone case ratio. This is a potential baguette for the future. And then I also told my essay that I was looking for a new travel bag and she recommended me this one and it is just way too big. This is part of the men's collection, but it's basically a duffel version of a giant peekaboo. Interesting, right? And you guys know I had to try on the compact hammock of the dark butter. This honestly is like the spicy mustard color that you guys get at the dim sum restaurants. You guys know what I'm talking about. This color was so pretty and you can see the grainness on the hammock. And you guys know I love yellow, so I'm weak. The biggest surprise of the entire day was trying on the Paseo and loving it. You have to, and I mean have to, touch this bag in person. It is so soft, like flamenco level soft. I honestly didn't expect it to be this soft, especially going from the sturdiness of the hammock to the Paseo. And then this color, beautiful. And then I asked my SA if they had this Lueve Anagram cardigan because there's this one Japanese influencer that I follow and she wore this and I thought it looked so cute. Look, the bag has a giant anagram on the back and the pockets say L on it. It's so cute. And then I had to ask and they had this sweater. Cassie Thorpe has this. Kika has this and I love it to death. It's not as soft as I wanted it to be. I think I'm just not used to wool or mohair but oh guys the placement of the anagram and the color scheme. I'm so obsessed and then look guys with the Goya. Oh my gosh I can't. I really, the Goya really, really surprised me. It's very pliable, super comfortable, and extremely light. You can crossbody this bag or top handle it. And then of course I had to see how it looked like with the dark butter compact hammock. I'm very close to buying this because my essay told me that Jonathan Anderson is changing the vision of the puzzle and the hammock. They're going to make an updated hammock where it's not as boxy against the body and they're gonna take away the base, but that's a secret. Shh. So I might just buy this bag just to have a little piece of history. Guys, this scarf with this sweater, Oh my gosh, this is like a logo ho moment. And then adding the Paseo as a shoulder bag, stop it. I'm a walking Lueve anagram ad, but I love it so much. And this is how much the sweater is, 1300. It hurts me, but of course it's Lueve and the material. So I wanted to try both sizes. So I tried on initially the extra small, and then this is the small. It is a little bit looser. The essay told me that in general, people wear this more on the fitted side, but you guys know me, I'm team comfort. And of course I had to try on the signature Lueve tank top. This is the cropped one that everybody loves with high-waisted jeans and I was so disappointed because I didn't expect the bottom of the tank top to have the elastic band on it so it cinches in. For my body type, it was not flattering. I tried it on in black as well and I think I would have loved this tank top crop top if it didn't have this elastic band because it really kind of like cuts into your torso and I just wasn't about it and sadly, it wasn't as soft as I thought it was going to be my uniqlo crop tops are a lot softer but of course you're paying for the brand i also tried on the long version of it see the long version doesn't cinch at the bottom i wish they just did that for the cropped version how many of you guys own these tank tops and how many of you guys want it i'm happy that i didn't like it because then i saved money also my essay told me that jonathan anderson plans to discontinue this regular puzzle and only have the puzzle edge bags so if you guys really have been wanting to buy this puzzle bag i definitely recommend recommend getting it now. What do you guys think of the puffy Goya bags? It's really soft and really comfortable and I rarely see people have it. It's giving me Chanel Trendy CC with old Celine Trio bag vibes. I mean, I think it's actually really unique and it's definitely growing on me. Send help guys, I saw this bag on the display. I think it's part of the new Paula Ibiza collection and this bag, I like it way more than my Celine Vertical Kibosh to be honest because this bag is so pliable and comfortable and it's black and white. Oh my goodness. 
So I finally tried on the cassette belt bag and this is in the calf skin I believe so it has kind of the ridges on the inside when you see it when I open it so you can tell that that's the calf skin version. I was actually really disappointed with this bag. This bag wasn't even on display and the wear of this bag really was not good. You can already tell that the sides were already peeking out and that it was smooshed. I just, I mean, I'm happy that I tried it on because now I don't want it anymore. But here is the ice cream color in the pastel yellow. And then these are the little mini pouches that a lot of people really, really like. I think if I ever got a mini pouch, I would definitely get it with the Intrasato leather and the regular size, not the small. And then here is the new Candy Jody bag. Look how tiny it is. It's for a child. This is so small. This is something I see Kylie Jenner buying for Stormy. It's so small and I already have small hands so just imagine what this really looks like. I wanted to give this bag one last chance before I left but here's a close-up. Do you guys see the I wouldn't even say it's creased it's just smooshed and it's just not wearing well even in storage. And then the last store I went to was Celine. I wanted to try on these two bags. So this is the new small size of this Cure tote. And then they also had this brand new blue gray color in the Triumph shoulder bag. Cause you guys know how much I love the Triumph shoulder bag. I think Lisa has this color in the regular size. But which bag do you like more? To be honest, on me, I love this tote bag. It's like a bucket bag, but giving me kind of speedy vibes at the same time. And it was so freaking soft, I can't even tell you. Ironically, I went in to try on the white one, but I ended up liking the tan one more. The main difference was the finish. The white one had the green leather and I thought I was gonna like that more, but the finish was a little bit dull for me. And then here's the shoulder triumph in the exotic leather and here's a close-up between both of them i really want to add a triumph shoulder bag i just need to find the right color i feel like i could style this blue but it's not the one i told the essay that i was looking for a white bag so she gave me both of these bags to try on this is the brand new arctic white color so she told me that the leathers on this triumph shoulder bag and then the other bag they're actually a different finish whereas the triumph is more scratch resistant like there's a coating on top of it the essay also told me that any bag that they have in the arctic white they actually only get one to two pieces per style so if you guys are interested in any of the arctic white bags i definitely recommend checking them out as soon as possible and then my phone actually died after i took this picture so i wasn't able to film an outro but what do you guys think you guys know that i've been looking to add a white bag in my collection i just don't know which one it is if it's gonna be dior if it's gonna be this i actually really like this but do you guys think this is too white do we like the off-white more let me know what your favorite bag was that i tried on today in the comments down below for me it was that fendi peekaboo in the blue celeria leather just wow as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys